Okay, let's talk about for loops in SAS. So there is a for loop with the at for directive. This is the syntax for it. We can say for, and then you have a variable name. This is your counter variable. And then a couple of keywords, from one through five, this will mean one, two, three, four, and five. Alternatively, we can say from one to five, which will be one, two, three, four, but not including five. So those are the two options. And I'm just going to do a quick little practical example of something that you could do with this. Let's say I had um, several list items or several paragraphs that were stacked one on top of the other, and I wanted to make the background just change gradually from one to the next. So each paragraph has a solid color background, but they get a little bit darker as you go down the list. So I'm going to target it like this inside my loop. This is the CSS that I want to write inside these curly braces. And I'm going to target nth child. Now, you're probably wanting to do this right away, but this is going to fail for us. What we need to do is we need to use interpolation, which if you don't know what that is, I'll put the link to the interpolation video down in the description for you. So this will actually extract the number and write it out as part of the CSS. So we've got that. Now, compiles, there's nothing inside of here, so nothing's going to happen. Um, if I actually add something, 1.0 REM, save it. Oh, I lost my CSS file. There we go. There's the file back open again. And there you can see there's the numbers 1 through 5 being written out. And if we change this to 2, save it, and that should re-render this for me. Oh, there we go. Just a little delay. So there we have 2 and through, so you can see the difference between them, just the different numbers looping. I'll go back to 5, and what I wanted to do was the background color. So I'm going to use the built-in function in SAS called darken, where I can provide a color and then the percentage that I want to apply to this. So I'm going to darken it here from 10% to 50%. So I'm going to take each of these numbers and I'm going to multiply by 10%, and that's going to be the amount that I'm going to darken the color. So we'll say I times 10%. Save that. Wait a second, and there we are. So here are 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, and 50% darker. Those are the values right here, generated by this. So we're looking at built-in function. We're looking at mathematical operators used inside of here. We're using interpolation, and we're using a for loop. So combining all these different features to generate this bit of CSS. All right, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I will put a link to the interpolation at the end of this video, and if you found this useful, please share it, and as always, thanks for watching.